who was once a notorious figure in the world of hacking back in early 2000 he was involved in several illegal activities and got caught up with the law but fast forward to today jack is making 2 million a year from ethical hacking all legally so how did someone like jack go from breaking the law to being one of the most respected ethical hackers he discovered bug bounty hunting a powerful field within the world of cyber security now imagine you are living in a small town with no fancy degrees or tech background but you have got the skills and determination to find bugs big companies are offering thousands even millions of dollars to those who can uncover vulnerabilities in their system And the best part is you don't need a fancy office or a degree in cyber security. All you need is the right road map and that's exactly what I'm going to give you today. So in this video we will cover what bug bounty programs are there and how they work, building the foundational skills you need, how to practice and get better, how much money can you really make, the top platforms like HackerOne and BugCrowd and common mistakes beginner make and how to avoid them, the best tools and resources to get started, where to apply and what companies are hiring, the eligibility criteria and finally how to keep growing your skills. So let's get started. So first things first what exactly is a bug bounty program and how do they actually work Well a bug bounty program are pretty straightforward companies big and small pay ethical hackers that is the bug bounty hunters to find vulnerabilities in their system These bugs could be anything from a small issue in the code to a major security flaw that could affect thousands of users Now let's talk about how does it actually work. Well, a company defines the scope and the rule of its program. This means what system apps or websites you are allowed to test. So once you find a vulnerability, you report it via their platform. If your find is valid, the company verifies it and rewards you often with money, but also sometimes with a swag or even job opportunities. The reward you get depends on severity of the bug. For For example, finding a critical security flaw in a system might earn you thousands of dollars while a minor bug could get you a couple of hundred. Now let's talk about building the foundational skills which you need. To start with big bounty hunting, you need to build a solid foundation. Don't worry, you don't need a degree in cybersecurity of course, but here's what you'll need to get started. First, you need to know about the networking basics. You need to understand how networks work, what LAN and WAN are, and how data flows across the internet. Now, this helps you understand vulnerabilities that can exist within those networks. The second foundational skill is the web technologies. You should learn about HTML, CSS, JavaScript and HTTP, HTTPS. You'll also need to understand DNS and how web applications function. Now if you are a beginner, think of it like learning how to make a website before you can break into one. The third skill is security tools. Familiarize yourself with essential security tools, Burp Suit, Nmap, and OWASP, Zap, which are all the important tools to have in your toolkit when you begin testing web applications for vulnerabilities. The fourth skill is learning a programming language. Languages like Python, PHP, Java, Ruby are often used in web development and can help you understand how vulnerabilities are coded into a system. A little knowledge of these languages goes a long way. Now let's see how you can practice and get better. So once you have all the basics down, it's time to practice. So first, you can start by joining bug bounty platforms like HackerOne, BugCrowd, Integrity. So these platforms will allow you to test your skills and practice finding bugs in live environments. But that's not all. You can also join the CTA, which is Capture the Flag challenges on platforms like Hack the Box and Try Hack Me. Now these are safe fun environments where you can learn real world penetration testing techniques while solving hacking challenges. And remember, focus on one bug at one time. Trying to learn everything at once can be obviously overwhelming. So start with one vulnerability like like suppose XSS or SQL injection and then master it before moving on to others. Now let's talk about how much money can you actually make. 
you might be wondering how much money can you make in a bug bounty hunting, right? Let's get into it. Well, in the US, now entry level bug bounty hunters can expect to make around $50,000 to $80,000 per year. And with experience, that can rise up to $100,000 to $200,000 or even more, depending on how skilled you are. In India, fresher can start with around 5 to 10 lakh per year. And as you gain experience, you could earn even 15 lakhs or more with top hunters making significantly higher. Now in 2022, Facebook paid 2 million and Google paid 12 million in bug bounties, which is pretty impressive, right? Realistically, you can even start earning between $200 to $2,000 per bug, depending on the severity. But top bounty hunters can make upwards to $200,000 a year or even more. Now the best part is bug bounty hunting is remote. You can work from anywhere in the world. As long as you're consistent and skilled, the money will follow. Let's talk about the top bug bounty platform. So there are majorly two major platforms if you want to focus on. The first is the hacker one, which is known for big companies like Uber, Twitter and GitHub. This platform allows you to build your reputation. And once you have a solid track record, you can get invites to private program. Bug Crowd, which is similar to HackerOne, lets you apply to join private programs. It's a bit more structured in that sense, but it's just as lucrative as you are consistent with your submissions. Now let's talk about some common mistakes and how to avoid them. First is trying to do much at once. Now it's tempting, of course, to learn everything at once, but picking one bug type like X, triple S and master it before moving on to others. The second one is getting too caught up in automation. Now tools like Burp Suit and Map are great, of course, but automation is meant to complement your work, not replace it. Understand how to hack manually before using automation. The third one is not reading write-ups. Successful hackers often learn from others. Read write-ups from other bug bounty hunters to understand different approaches to vulnerabilities. Now let's talk about the best tools and the resources that you can get started with. To get started, you need few tools and resources. So first we've got Burp Suit, a must-have for web app testing. You'll use this to manipulate and test web requests. Then we have got Nmap. You can use this tool for network scanning and identifying open ports. Then we have Hack the Box, which is a great platform for practicing penetration testing in a virtual environment. We also have Web Application Hackers Handbook. Now, this book is a must read to understand how web applications are tested for vulnerabilities. And remember, you don't need to spend a ton of money to get started. There are free resources everywhere. YouTube channel, forums, blogs are loaded with information that you can learn from. Also, just a quick information, guys, if you are interested in stepping into one of the most in-demand fields of 2025, then the Advanced Executive Program in Cybersecurity by Simply Learn is your perfect opportunity for you. Now, in just six months, you will gain expertise in ethical hacking, penetration testing, ransomware analysis, and advanced defense strategies through a hands-on industry-relevant approach. Now, this program offered in collaboration with the IIIT Bangalore and IBM features is live interactive classes, real world projects, and industry recognized certifications. You'll also benefit from the master classes by the IIT Bangalore faculty and ex NPCR expert diving into cutting edge topics like Gen AI with cybersecurity. So, hurry up and enroll now and find the course link in the description box below and in the pinned comments. Now let's talk about getting a job in bug bounty, where to apply and what companies are hiring. So now you've built your skill, completed some challenges and maybe even made a few bug bounty submissions. Now you're probably wondering, how do I turn this into a full-time career and land a cybersecurity job? So let's talk about a lot of companies which are investing heavily on bug bounty programs. So they need experienced security professionals to know how to haunt their vulnerabilities. So at first we've got Meta, Facebook, then we have Google, we have Apple, Uber, Airbnb, Microsoft, GitHub. Twitter, Shopify. Now, these companies often have dedicated security teams that rely on ethical hackers to find vulnerabilities. So while bug bounty hunting is one way to make money, many hunters transition into full-time security roles once they have proven their skills. 
Talking about where to apply, so once you have built your skills to platforms like HackerOne, Bugcrowd, and Integrity, you can apply directly to the security team at many tech companies. Now, here's how. At the first position you can apply is uh, the security analyst and the engineer roles. So, after gaining experience in bug bounty hunting, you can apply for jobs as a security engineer or security analyst. Now, these positions often requires knowledge in penetration testing, vulnerability assessment and incident response. Now, if you want a full course on all these topics discussed, you can just head over to Simply Leon's YouTube channel. There we have penetration testing full course which is free of course and you can learn all the latest technologies and if you want to get a job in this bug bounty program i have attached a link in the description box you can check it from there then we also have a red team and blue team so many security teams have obviously red teams which is called the offensive security and the blue team which is called the defensive security now bug bounty hunters often transition into red team roles where they actively test and break into systems to find vulnerabilities bug bounty hunters who specialize in web application vulnerabilities often make excellent penetration testers so obviously this bug bound hunting is open to everyone now if you are aiming for a full time job in cyber security here's what you should consider the first is experience so while you don't need a formal degree as i told you before companies typically look for candidates with at least 2 to 3 years of experience in cyber security you can get this experience by starting with bug bounty platforms capture the flag challenges and personal projects the next is certifications although not mandatory certifications like certified ethical ceh oscp which is offensive security certified professional and cissp which is certified information system security professional can help you boost your credibility and increase your chances of getting hired then you can also build a strong portfolio companies love to see actual findings and valid reports that demonstrate your skills you also need to have good problem solving skills you need to be persistent and have strong problem solving skills as per bounty hunting requires a lot of trial and error Now let's talk about your path to a full-time career. So of course, bug bounty hunting can serve as a springboard to a full-time career in cybersecurity. The skills you learn are transferable to many roles such as security analyst, penetration tester, or cybersecurity consulting firms. So the first thing is you need to focus on learning continuously. You need to build a reputation by submitting well-documented reports and engaging in the community. This is very crucial. You should also apply to tech companies. means once you have gained experience on platforms like hacker one and bug the next is you need to keep your options open bug bounty hunting can evolve into freelance and remote work opportunities so whether you're looking for a side hustle or a full time job or you just want to level up your cyber security skills bug bounty hunting has an incredible potential to reward financially and professionally Remember guys this is a journey where you'll need patience consistent practice and desire to learn but once you master all the basics it is set for you to set up a successful career that's both financially rewarding and intellectually satisfying So guys that's a wrap up on this video if you have any doubts or questions you can ask them in the comment section below our team will learn Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting-edge domains including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.